Good morning friends. In the previous last series we have discussed about the how to plot the shear force and bending moment diagrams for statically determinate beams specifically simply supported beam, overhanging beam and cantilever beam. In the previous lecture uh, we have started a series of overhanging beam and we had solved some numericals how to plot the shear force and bending moment diagram using the basic concepts for overhanging beam. Today we are going ahead in the same series that is plotting of shear force and bending moment diagram for overhanging beam. Before we proceed let us be started revise. The today's objectives of the session is plus PPT. The objective of this session is to understand the concept of shear force and bending moment for overhanging beam and to understand the basic concept of shear force and bending moment. Let us revise uh, that we did in the previous classes that is what is shear force and bending moment. Let us revise all these things within the 5 minutes. When a beam is loaded by forces or couples, stresses and strains are created throughout the interior of the beam. These internal quantities are referred as shear force and bending moment. Let us be understood this concept by using the fundamentals over here. See, refer this particular beam subjected to the various loadings. Now, if I will take a section over here, then my beam will be divided into two parts, left part as well as right part with the loadings. So, if we take a free body diagram of left part and see this section, at this section, these internal quantities will be developed. These internal quantities are referred as shear force and bending moment. And our intention is to find out these internal quantities by applying the external quantities. And then we have to join those internal quantities and plot a certain diagram. <laughs> What is shear force? Shear force is the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces acting to the left or right of a cut section along the span of the beam. <laughs> I think uh, you will understood very well that is the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces. What is bending moment? It is the algebraic sum of all the moment of forces to the left or right of the section at maybe the left section, maybe the right section. And these two quantities we have to found out in this particular chapter. Uh, these are the basic sign conventions to be used throughout in the series of shear force and bending moment. Means, uh, this is the beam. If I will take a section over here, the uh, section left upward is treated as positive shear force. Or if you take right section, then section right downward it will treat it as positive shear force. Opposite to this, if section left downward force, it is treated as negative shear force or section right upward is treated as negative shear force. You may take vice versa also. <laughs> About bending moment, section left clockwise or section right anti-clockwise this nature is known as the sagging bending moment which is treated as positive bending moment opposite to that section 
left anti clockwise or section right clockwise that generates the hogging bending moment to tell as negative bending moment in this particular series of shear force and bending moment <laughs> now up till now in the previous classes we had solved two basic problems in this series as we go with the third problem specifically a problem of overhanging beam so just visualize a beam whose one end or both the ends are projected beyond the support so this is the free part there is no support which has been applied over here <laughs> this beam is known as overhanging beam subjected to the udl throughout the length of the beam the support distance is 4 meter and overhanging projection is of 2 meter subjected to the udl of 10 kN per meter so to find out the shear force and bending moment at any section or at any point the first step is to found out the unknown parameters the unknown parameters are support reactions so now the step number 1 is to find out support reaction so now at the a joint hinge joint is there so there are two reactions rah and rab at b only a roller support is there so single reaction that is the rb and if we take the first equilibrium condition sigma h is equal to 0 and there is not a single force that is of horizontal force is acting throughout the beam hence rah is equal to 0 if we take sigma v is equal to 0 sum of all the vertical component of forces are equated with zero then the two forces that we assume upward that is the rab and rb is equal to total down load that is 10 into 6 is equal to 60 kN <laughs> hence by using the sigma v is equal to zero equilibrium conditions we will able to obtain an equations that is rav plus rb is equal to 60 we do not know the individual rav we do not know the individual rb but we it is possible for us to establish a relationship between the two support reaction using the well using the equation of sigma v is equal to 0 now to obtain the exact answer of rav and rb we have to use the third equilibrium conditions that is either we have to take sigma ma is equal to 0 or we have to take sigma mb is equal to 0 let us we take right now taking a moment about a is equal to 0 that is sigma ma is equal to 0 and we have to take the moment of all the forces at point a means rh into 0 it is 0 rv into 0 it is 0 now the next force that is is 10 This 10 kilo newton per meter it is acting throughout the length that is up to the 6 meter. So 10 into 6 is the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the CG of load to the point of application. Now the CG of load which is acting over here that is 6 by 2 is the distance. So 10 into 6 into 6 by 2 that creates the clockwise moment at A and stated as positive. <laughs> now this is rb rb into 4 that creates minus sign because of anti clockwise nature minus rb into 4 is equal to 0 and by simplifying this equation we got rb as 45 kN and ra as 60 minus 45 that is the 15 kN So now using the equilibrium conditions we will achieve or we are achieving right now the support reactions. So now next for the our intention is to plot shear force and bending moment diagram for after knowing this values of support reactions. So let us be go to the table top and understood better way. the given beam this is a 4 meter this is of 2 meter
UDL of 10 kN per meter which has been known to us we found out the reactions as of 45 kN 15 kN and our intention is to plot shear force and bending moment diagram for a given beam this is the baseline all the positive values are plotted above the baseline all the negative values are plotted below the baseline and our intention is to plot shear force diagram <coughs> now let us you understood the basic thing what is shear force shear force is nothing but algebraic sum of all the vertical forces so now if we use our fundamental concept and then plot as per that 15 kilo newton is the reaction at a the 15 kilo newton is the same value shear force at a then between a and b udl is there so if i will write down shear force at a is equal to plus 15 kilo newton shear force at b just left why just left i am taking a section over here just left side then e is equal to 15 minus 10 into 4 and this gives me 15 minus 40 this gives me 25 minus sine kilo newton 25 suggest me it is downward now how to join this two diagram this two diagram which has been joined by as there is a udl inclined straight line this value is plus this value is minus next if we take a section just right side of b then shear force at b just right is equal to 15 minus 10 into 4 plus 45 and we are getting over here as if 20 kilo newton plus sign so at a point load itself shear force suddenly changes and this become minus 25 to plus 20 obviously at c point the shear force must be zero it is if you want to check it out let us we check it out shear force at c is equal to 15 minus 10 into 6 plus 45 and this comes to be zero so this value is zero and that is the udl it is joined by inclined straight line and this value is positive so we get right now a shear force diagram of overhanging beam subjected to the udl so using the basic concept we are able to plot shear force diagram you may plot this shear force diagram by taking a concept of by taking a various section between the various points now it is at most important for us to find out this distance distance x where shear force is zero <laughs> because we know the fundamental that the point at which the shear force is zero we achieve maximum bending moment so i have to find out the value of x now let's see the relationship is of inclined straight line so you may you can find out this value of x by using the fundamental mathematics or you can find out this value of x by using the section method by taking a section between a and b 
let us we use both the approach let us we understood both the concept and we will find out the value of x right now now to find out the value of x let us use the pure mathematics this angle is theta obviously this angle is theta as such the relationship which has been given by inclined straight line so if we use the pure mathematics then this distance is of 4 minus x now if we use the mathematic concept then tan theta is equal to opposite side divide by nearest side 15 by x the theta is remaining same for this triangle also is equal to 25 divide by 4 minus x so we achieve a one correlation over here and if we simplify this one then 4 minus x divide by x is equal to 25 by 15 just simplify this 4 by x minus 1 is equal to 25 by 15 and we get x is equal to 1.5 meter you can achieve the same answer x is equal to 1.5 meter by taking a section between a and b let us solve and let us find out the same answer using the other methods because this method of simple mathematics is applicable when there is a linear relationship is there in this shear force diagram if non-linear relationship may be of just like a parabola is there then we cannot use this concept of mathematics so now let us use the fundamental concept of section and find out the value of x right now over here now visualize over here I am going to take a section x this is my x and make an equation shear force at x x is equal to 